Right, what's up everybody uh welcome back to the vlog today uh we are going to be doing a uh, music video visual for Teresa, Sophia. um got the team here got keith dina kadeem tj uh, jp on the camera on the vlog camera today appreciate everybody coming out i'm gonna be taking you guys along with me on this it's just gonna be a vlog style uh video with some pro tips mixed in there in between so i hope you guys can learn something from this video so stay tuned i'm just setting up on sticks We're using the canon eos r today for everything we'll be shooting in uh 8-bit c log for pretty much every single shot just uh setting up the field monitor now this is just like a five inch icon uh, monitor and um we're gonna be running a 16 to 35 millimeter um what is it 2.8 lens from Canon, the Red Ring series, and that's literally all we're going to use for this shot. This is going to be like a composite type of shot, so we're going to stay locked down on sticks the entire time and then do all the magic in post. Teresa's here now. Also, we're going to be using Indies today. We're shooting in the sunset, so probably use these all day long. This is just a Tiffin variable Indie filter. You want to see something to the vlog? We're about to do some stuff. We're about to shoot a music video. My first music video ever here in my hometown. So we just got kicked out of 7-Eleven uh, before we even tried the first shot, which, you know, uh, we were taking a gamble anyways trying to get it, but hey, all we can do is try. So now we're at uh, CVS and we're just about to do a quick mission real quick, try to get the shot. Um, everybody's got a game plan. TJ's uh, figured it out. So we're going to knock out this shot. I'm going to go over there and check out the framing before we bring camera over. And... Um, yeah, we're just gonna knock out this first shot. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's Keith Nixon, Jr. I always say, see a need, feel a need, get those hands dirty. So that's that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I would say measure twice, cut once. Fail to plan, you plan to fail. So do as much as you can on the, on the front end um, to, to minimize any, uh, any potential conflicts, obstacles, things of that nature. That being said, pro tip two, uh, always stay flexible. Uh, things happen. Uh, like Josh said, we just got kicked off the 7-Eleven property. So, you know, you adjust. They're coming, the cheese coming from mm -hmm. the window to the, to the truck. Yeah, that one should be priority for this spot specifically. Okay, I agree. And then if we get kicked out, we can go to the place. Go to another cookout. <laughs> you don't know if we have to, but we can all um, figure it out. So we need to perform a shot like first. Yeah. Got it. So we are calling another audible. This is how uh, run and gun visual shoots normally go anyway. We just try to uh, go with the flow as much as possible. So we decided that um, the Walgreens wasn't gonna cut it for us because it's private property signs and there's so many people here involved. Um, just not comfortable with putting everybody at risk with maybe getting a trespassing charge. So uh, we're gonna get this shot at cookout. We're gonna do the cookout scene now. And I'm just setting up the Ronin, uh, Ronin S with uh, same lens, 16 to 35. So. <laughs> Doing good, man. This shot's coming out pretty dope. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at playback now. <laughs> Uh, to see the motion, uh, to make sure I'm kind of, I guess, doing a good job as a cameraman. Uh, and it looks pretty good. I'm happy with how the shot's turning out. It's just a couple little things we got to tweak because it's, it's a little bit of a technical shot and it's a big move. Um, so, yeah, it's just really up to me to get the shot right. So, that way, you, do like you see where you are, that's where I'll be. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then get on the truck. Yeah! <laughs> Just knocked out one of the first shots <laughs> after a whole bunch of takes, but uh, I think we got it. Hair and makeup. Myself. <laughs> it's almost like a 
I think in order for you to feel more fisheye, you almost need distortion in the edges. Okay. So. I'm, yeah, I'm not mad at that. There's some loud cars out here. So we just made it to second location. We're doing the clone scene now. Um, we got this shot locked down and she's about to buy some stuff out of the store so that um, we can incorporate that into the shot. So we are layering multiple shots on top of each other. We're gonna rotoscope out um, basically our main subject uh, so that we can use this background footage that we're recording right now. And then uh, we also have her double who's gonna walk in, which is gonna be her later on. We're gonna layer that on top of that as well. Um, so yes, yeah, this roller scoping. Um, I am helping with the creative direction. I am co-directing with Teresa. I think a pro tip I would totally recommend is learning when to step back and when to come uh, forward, especially when you're co-directing, you just gotta learn how to listen to each other's voice. So it's a lot of more listening than it is actually directing. <laughs> I told her that. That was good, that was good. Can I see it? Can I see it? Oh, well then we should just shoot, because, yeah, we gotta go. I am setting up a tracking cam for the driving shot. Basically, she's gonna do a driving performance, and uh, we're trying to get a shot following the lead car, so. Um, this is my baby and I'm kind of scared, but it's all right. <laughs> we also have um, a wireless follow focus system set up here so that we have the HDMI running into the car. We're gonna have a monitor and then we're gonna just pull focus in from inside of the car. So we got electronic wireless follow focus right here. I'm sure TJ probably already told you all about it. So now he's getting the camera settings together. This is the Nucleus N made by uh, Tiltamax. Tiltamax Nucleus N. I'm Kadeem. Uh, I'm shooting BTS for this shoot. And just number one tip I can say is just always have a camera on you. If you have it, you don't have your camera on, you can't shoot it. And that's just point blank, period. Also, earlier, we're shooting in very, very harsh light. And so I just bumped up the aperture uh, to like F11. And for those photos, the light was really terrible. So I'm just going to put them in black and white it's BTS anyway so I'm just kind of just getting the feel of what we were doing so you don't really got to focus too much on like more picturesque if you're like a photographer like shooting portraits or something like that you don't really got to worry about that you just don't really worry about capturing like the essence of what was going on in the shoot and all the little people working together stuff like that so you know that's my tip just always have your camera on you and just always be behind the cameraman Alright, it's on 800. We don't care about grain. We don't care about like grain. So this is our final shot. I really think that we got everything. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to catch a firefly. Shh, don't tell anybody. Where are they? Are they serious?